glad to have you with us today. And today we're going to talk about how the governor um, who lost, or govern, um, the governor candidate, Sean Wilson in Louisiana, who's just another Democrat shield that um, did not have specific um, issues for the black community, and he lost hugely. And in a previous episode, I did say that we're going to go into this uh, a little bit briefly. So I want to expand a little bit, a little bit why, because he lost hugely. 25%, he only had 25% of the vote. That is outrageous for a very, for Louisiana that has always held a Democrat governor since Reconstruction up until now, not a Republican. And that's a very strong black stronghold down there. And he lost. And we're going to get into why he lost, and I'm going to touch basis on that. And you see, the thing is, is that these Democrats are on notice. And possibly in the next episode, I'll probably expand a little bit more about that. But like I said, this is my new campaign. I'm running a campaign exposing all these shields and it's the Democrat Party trying to hurt the black community. OK, and I'm going to go in each one of them. So any shields that you guys find out or anyone, you know, just put a, hit hit me up on the inbox and stuff or put a comment um, on the video so I can look these up, these shields, because we got to get them out of here because the goal is, is that for the black community, 2024 is a very it's going to be a, it's our year because if we continue four years of Biden with these Democrat it's over because what you don't notice right now is that they're trying to get these migrants. Mind you, they're not American. They came over, broke our laws, didn't give a crap, right? Passed up. It's not asylum. They passed up seven, eight other countries. They should apply asylum there. But anyway, do you see that they're prioritizing migrants over and putting them in black communities and stealing their resources? And what's going to happen is, if you notice what they're doing now, they're trying to put them in a very good predicament. They're trying to make them legal to work. And when they legal to work, what's the next? Citizenship. And once they find a way to become citizenship, it's over. It's over. For the black um for the black community because we because um black community we are the biggest base for the democrat party the biggest voting base they cannot win an election without the black vote and it's proven with louisiana see what those most of the um the black community stayed at home or, or voted republican they took about 12 percent of the vote you know which pushed them over to get the majority so they don't there's no runoff it's, it's just facts and this is scary now now i'm gonna now what we're going to do see right here is that we're going to go to Sean Wilson's website, right? You can see on the screen and we're just going to touch bases about some of the issues. And you, and I'm going to show you guys that yes, it's for everybody. But the thing is that for your biggest block involved, which is the black community, what specific issues are you going to put to them? I'm not, I'm not saying not for everybody. I'm just saying specific stuff, whether it be reparation, get rid of qualified immunity, whatever something that the black community wants okay so let's go look at their issues first so we go to issues we're going to look at the economy right so right here raises phrases for a louisiana family across louisiana 51 percent cannot afford 51 percent basic of housing and health care unless changes unless we can't expect to grow the state cut credit up and he want to raise raises to the tax code work for um work a family i mean spend expansion of front i mean all, all these politicians say that that's a common thing about the tax code. The tax code is so complicated. They could they could literally do it if they wanted to, but they're not going to um, because it would put them at a disadvantage, the politicians. Fight to end pay secretly, promote transparency in the workplace, eliminate gender wage gap. I mean, again, this is, this is for everybody. I don't see any specifics for the black community. And when I mean specific, you guys say it in there. Say for the black families, for black community, you guys say it specifically. Otherwise, you know, it's for everybody, which I don't have a problem with that. I'm just saying that, like I said, the perspective is that your biggest bowling ball is for black is the black community. At least have something in there to specifically for the black community. Louisiana can become the supply chain entire nation. Clean energy. Again, yeah, common talking point. Louisiana can increase the opportunity for rural opportunity to participate in the growing up, blah, 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 blah. Okay, here goes something. Support women-owned and minority. Again, minority means everybody else. Again, it's not Pacific. You see, you got to watch words like this, folks. You see, when you're talking about black issue, at this point, that's why the problem with the Democrat. They have a hard time just saying black, Pacific black. If they got to say person of color, minority, that means everybody else. It's not Pacific for black community. You got to watch out for that. So he almost had me when I said support women um and this said black on I said, okay, he got something. But again, he used the word minority. This is what you gotta look for. This is a shield. 
Okay, Louis enjoys Richards, but literally the energy product must leverage our yada 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 commitment to energy, support the Coast Smart, build resiliency, build homes for our fair share. Again, I don't see anything specifically for the black community. This is for everybody. Everybody's going to benefit. That's fine. But I'm looking for specific tangibles for the black community. I don't see this. Louisiana is on track to grow and read a couple of federal opportunity for a straight for our own straight budget. Five years to pursue formula and retain competitive fund. Okay. Support state priority. Ensure. Again, I don't see anything specifically for the tangibles for the black community. And that was just an economy. Let's look at the education. Maybe there's something being here for education for the black community. Um, let's see. Increase teachers pay to see Southern. Again, that's good, but what's specifically for the black community? Okay. Work with teachers, state rights literacy. I'll just give a go 15% off. Again, this is for everybody. I mean, that's including the black community, but I'm talking about specific tangibles for the black community. Experts agree that investing children from four year old to optimize brain development, prioritize high quality children from birth aid recommended by Louisiana. Again, you look at this, right? You look at this, still no tangible specific for the black community. This is for everybody. Higher education is gateway to innovation. We should prioritize, work with like to protect the top program, ensure our children with quality education, improve high demand skills, yada, 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 work to expand growth. And you guys can read along. I'm just moving a little bit fast for time constraints. Commit to investing in facilities, environmental. Look at this. Again, nothing for the black community, no specific tangibles for the black. Let's go back to issues. Let's look at public safety. <sighs> okay. Lead a urgent government response to crime. The current trend of crime is alarming. Yada, yada, yada. Deploy state research to support. Deploy state and federal research to support local government, effective change in community law enforcement. Utilize state police, control your central and system law enforcement, do intelligent. Work with prosecutor law. Again, nothing specific for attention. I don't even see getting rid of qualified immunity in there, which that's what the black community has been arguing about. I don't see it. Let's continue. Louisiana must create a landscape where the environment that breeds criminal activity is the exception, not the norm. That means addressing problem strategy intentionally from multiple eight angles and angles. Work to prevent crime by investing in jobs. Um, continue common sense reforms that reduce crime. That's another talking point because it's still not getting any better. Investing more heavily in reentry programs for youth and young adults. Again, nothing tangible. Help reduce rape kit by law for local government. Again, this is for everybody, which is cool, but there's nothing specific for black community that says it in there. It's got to say black. For me to say it specifically, it's got to say the word black. And after that, what is specific, the tangible. Otherwise, if you use minority, person of color, it's not for the black community. Sorry. That's just the way it is. Expand development at community college to create a larger training force, enter our law enforcement, treat fentanyl, develop a share of fentanyl, toolkit development, insurance, um, peer to peer program toolkit, blah, blah, blah. Again, I don't see anything specific for the black community from public safety. What are they going to do? Healthcare. Let's look. Okay. Governor Edwards' first action after being sworn is expanding the Medicaid. We continue to expand. Preserve Medicaid. Medicaid ain't going anywhere right now. Um, that's great. All right. Again, nothing tangible up there. Building a block of Strew, Louisiana. We cannot expect to work for a collaborate stockholder. Support family. Support paid family. Again, they could have said something about having um, supporting um, single parent black families, right? Single parent black family, getting them program to need and, and giving them um specific programs to help them you know again also part of the black community you know it, it takes two to tangle you know they should a, a black ch a black child has a higher chance of successing in a black in our community when a mother and father is involved even if they're divorced or whatever the father needs to be involved with the child right and they could have programs and stuff like that specifically to help the young especially young black parents um if they're having problems to help them to see you know well be marriage counseling whatever they could have put something in there, but no, I don't see, again, nothing specific for black. Again, let's continue. Being smart and doubtful to the central to the government, establish regional planning, blah, 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 preventable health. That's for everybody. You can see down here, I'm just highlighting. Look, I see nothing. Oh, work with LG suicide program. 
including you, veteran, and LGBTQ plus community. Nothing. Thought, thought for a second there was going to be black in there, but nope. My wife and I believe the bureaucrat should not be overriding private and difficult decisions made by women, family, and their doctors when it comes to cancer, diabetes, and other conditions like legacy. Like Again, everybody. Increase work short training, career opportunity. Again, this is great. This is for everybody. This is great. This, but again, you see nothing in there. Nothing specific. It's for the black community. Look at this. FEMA to fix the floods. How to attract more insurance commissioners. You know, help fortify homes right here. Stakeholders will help Louisiana. Again, you see nothing in here. And I'm sorry if I'm moving a little bit fast. You're welcome to pause the video so you can read or go to um, wilson4la.com and read through the issues yourself. Again, not the Pacific. Increased access to financial housing play a bigger hole in abuse. And by federal and state, we can work work with Louisa to fund dedicated fund to fund our state housing trust fund, which is great. Work with have local government. We need the local use. Blah blah blah. Increase resources to local government that creates a housing strategy because they play a role. Housing fund incentivize again. Housing is very important with the black community. They could have put something there specifically saying we're working with bank to ensure that black black family also has an equal opportunity as everybody else to get a home including credit repair and all this other stuff or whatever there's nothing specifically tangible to the black community and look we are good we're on look we got one more issue the environment and you know the environment this energy stuff this is all democratic rocking point i bet you it's going to mention something about um clean energy which was the other one here it is ensure new project a couple of new opportunity manufacturing in North Louisiana, technical college training, you know, working costs. Let's see, blah, blah, blah. Again, nothing, nothing. Work with our children, ensure, take advantage of a new technology to support cleaning to our children and grandchildren. The, the action with state will ensure and join uh, uh, Louisiana for generations come that is reflected our culture and the ways of life and the grandparent. Again, Environment, policy for staying for Louisiana. We have the opportunity to tap the Louisiana energy legacy along to polit providing avenues to not bolster emerging clean energy sector and fortify our close defense, safeguard and water resource and bright there. Again, Democrats are big on clean energy and all this stuff. That's the talking point. See? See what I'm saying? Do you guys see what I'm saying? We went through it a little bit pretty fast, so I apologize. But I was looking specifically for keywords with black or in or black families, and I didn't really see that in there. You hardly saw anything. This is great. Now, I'm not saying that some of these issues would be, would, wouldn't be good for the black community, but I'm saying this is why they lose it because it's for air. But they even use, they had an opportunity. Remember, they said women and minority. Nah, nah, nah. If you're going to say minority, fine. But you need to say black after that because minority used to mean just black and all that stuff. It used to mean, you know, black. That's what you're talking about. Not anymore. Then you got person of color and all these other keywords. No. These are key words that in labels the Democrats created, thinking, tricking you that, oh, this is for, but they have to say specifically black for now. We ain't playing around no more. Okay. And you want, and I'm going to pull up on the screen. If you look, if you're one of my visual um, watchers, um, you can see on the screen, this is what I showed you in the previous episode. Jeff Landry, Republican wins government race in Louisiana. Look at the vote. This is Sean with a Democrat, 25.9% of the vote. That is outrageous. This is the lowest the Democrats have ever had in history. This is they said this is the lowest turnout for the black community for in history because that Democrat should have had way more than 50, 50 um 51 percent. It shouldn't have been a runoff. But guess what? That 12 percent or whatever that it had to be a certain percentage. I say about 10 to 12 percent um went to the Republican and that pushed them over the majority. You needed more than 50 percent to avoid a runoff, and that's exactly what happened. Now Democrats run scared. Do you see what I'm saying, folks? This is the reason why I went through this prefab. Because you have to look at specific keyword. You want tangible? These, these. You, all you have to do is go to their website because they don't think you're going to go to their website and read it and not care. But they expose themselves many times. That's what the black community can do. Go to these websites. Go line by line. And then when you go to these questionnaires, town halls, whatever, these, you ask them, what is specifically for the black community? What are you going to do? Because all I see is minority, person of color. That's for everybody. I'm talking about Pacific Tangible for the black community. This is the reason why they're going to lose. And I already see it. If this trend continues, they're going to lose in 2024 for sure. But again, um, the black community, 
we might need to just become an independent base because the thing is that um people now the Democrats go say well the republicans ain't go do any better well we're not giving our votes to the republic we're giving it to the democrat so even let's say the republican in there i mean and they don't do nothing okay fine but at least we're not giving a vote to you guys that way to show y'all because we're give we're investing in y'all and we ain't getting nothing in return it's a business deal but either way you saw on the screen you see it on the screen right now that is a b pretty big defeat that's a really big defeat jeff landry he's going to be the first republican in decades a long 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 multiple decades um of uh, becoming the republic and you look at the map just look at the map folks look at look on the map almost everything is red except for the key era baton rouge um this close area, just three areas where um sean wilson had a big vote look at that 42,000 but look at that that's it that's all they had and look if you look at this count on east carroll parish jeff laundry um wasn't that far behind sorry it's just the way it is listen 2024 is going to be a big year for the black community because um I'm telling y'all right now, Biden gets back in and y'all vote these Democrats back in, it's over. Because they will find a way to get citizenship for these migrants and continue to prioritize. And again, when these shields come out, because he's nothing but Democrat shit. And here's the thing, what you don't remember, on the previous episode, um, the guy that was on Roland Martin's show, Digital Daily Show, he even mentioned that Sean Wilson ran a campaign five months prior to the election. So these Democrats, not only that, they're arrogant. They figured they had it in the bad, and they were wrong. And that's what we have to continue to show them. Okay, I haven't voted Democrat since 2010. You know, on uh, the middle of President Barack Obama um, term, because I saw what was going on. You know, because we're not getting tangible. And unfortunately, something bad had to happen to the black community for us to really wake up. Like this migrant thing, it was a big wake up call. And now we're focused. And now. This might be the path that black people be able to get tangibles, get something now. They be able to, they are actually going to have a table to call to. Listen, we need, look, if you want to, like I said, these Democrats need to be begging. They need to be crying. They need to be do everything so they know that they ain't, ain't going to be able to take our vote from it. And the reason, now, I don't, now the reason why the Republican hasn't really been advertised about them because they already know 90% of the vote, what's the point? They're going to bash us and going to do this. We're not, what's the point of reaching out to the black community? I'm not saying Republicans would do any better. I'm not saying I'm not saying Republicans would do better at all. Not saying that. I'm just saying that it's time to get serious with the vote and ask for these two major party systems and say, what are you going to do for us? What are you going to do for us? And the reason why they vote for Republican, they already know this is just a protest vote to upset the Democrats. So let them know that you are on notice. You are on it. This race was a big key, and I hope many other races in twenty between now and twenty twenty four continues to operate. Need to put these Democrat shields in play. And I always say, just because they look like you doesn't mean they're for you. Again, there are many instances. Like I said, five months before the election is pretty arrogant. You know, some most of these people start a year, year and a half before and start getting fundraising. Now, Democrat can assemble and get the money, but apparently it didn't work. I, I continue. I hope continue. I hope the black community continue to do this because this this will put Democrats in their place. It's wrong what they're doing for the sixty plus years that they've been getting over, but the buck stops here, and now they're going to have to ask what they're going to do for us. 